Hi everyone, you guys are welcome back to the channel. This is Be Real with Livingstone Imaniti and I am so so excited that you guys decided to stop by today. Yes, I know, I know I've been away for a while, but I'm glad to be back to your screen. So uh today we'll be talking about a unique topic. So uh today we'll be talking uh, about how uh, African marriages are performed, especially Nigerian marriages, how Nigerian uh, marriages are performed for those of you who don't know i'm nigerian by birth yes i'm from nigeria the giant of africa and uh, recently i went to an african-american wedding and while i was at the wedding a lot of people came to me like is this how uh nigerian wedding are also performed is this how african wedding are, are also performed and i was like well there are some differences it's not like the same the same there are some differences so uh today i'll be talking about uh, some of those differences between a nigerian wedding or an african i won't say an african wedding because in africa we have so uh, many countries and these countries perform their uh marriage rights uh differently so i'm gonna stick to the nigerian wedding so comparing nigerian wedding with the african-american wedding we're gonna see if we actually do the same thing uh, or it's uh, completely uh, different so basically what I'll be doing now is explain how marriages are done in Nigeria and I will uh, highlight the things that are, are similar and then highlight things that are, are different so first thing first when you see a lady you understand like now listen guys if you if you want to get married to a Nigerian lady when you see a Nigerian lady that you like okay you you know you like her and then you guys have been going out for a while you've been uh dating and then you've gone into courtship and it's time like you've it, it has been laid in your heart that this is the lady you want to get married so the first thing you do number one thing you do is to uh visit the family now this this isn't the introduction this is just you presenting yourself as a living, living sacrifice no 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 that this is just you uh showing the father that okay this is why i'm i'm the one i'm dating your daughter okay and this is also similar to to the african-american wedding the parents of the girl will want to know who the guy is so you can uh, the lady will have to inform her parents that oh i'm dating this gentleman and i want to invite him over for dinner so uh you guys can see him and ask him questions and uh, know his intentions so that's the first thing you do the first thing is to see her father you, it can be both uh parent the father and the mother so you go you go to the house it has to be in the lady's house yeah it's some people prefer to go out uh, in a restaurant and do it but in, in african tradition in nigerian tradition it's done in the in the girl's uh father's house so you go to the house you have dinner or lunch with the parents and the daughter everyone is talking and take note on this event they are asking you questions like you 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 need to be outspoken you need to talk this is where you have to convince them that yeah you are you are you are you are, you're serious and you're the right person for for your daughter so they're gonna ask you a question like what's your name or where are you from uh, what do you do for a living? What do you do for fun? Where do you see yourself in the next five years, in the next uh, ten years? More like an interview, you understand? More, more like an interview. They are asking you questions like how, where you met the daughter, how long have you guys been dating, blah, 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 blah. So uh, they just ask questions and based on the answers you give and based on your appearance and how you talk, they will determine if you're right for their lady. They're not going to give you uh, feedback at that point. They'll just uh, ask you questions. When you leave, then they'll call the daughter and then tell the daughter the feedback they, they got from discussing with your boyfriend. And at that point, the, the parents of the girl will tell the girl, okay, this I like this guy and I think he's, he's good for you so you guys can continue dating. And we'll see how it goes. Or they tell the daughter, no, 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 no. This, this is not the right uh, person for you. I'm sensing some kind of negative energy, negative vibe from this person. You can do better than this. I think you should, you shouldn't continue seeing this person. You should just keep him at 
I'm just saying, and I think it's similar to African American wedding or an African American uh, first meeting uh, where the parents see the guy and then they kind of talk to the guy and ask him questions. Some parents try to scare the guy and want to see if the guy is brave enough. Uh, other parents just work on work on the the guy. So it's all depend on on the kind of parents that you have. But take note, the first meeting you're going to answer a lot of questions. Yeah, you're going to answer a lot, a lot of questions. Now, should you uh, go along with a, a gift or something? Uh, if it's the first meeting, I would encourage you to do that. Yeah, you you don't have to buy something huge. You can just come along with desserts, come along with uh, cookies or, or a cake or anything or anything. Just uh, come there with with something uh, to present to the father. Okay, it's no no big deal, and yeah, I think it's same to an African American where you just have to go with something. So that's the first meeting, and continue. Don't just go for the first meeting. That's the end. So try to go again in the, in the, in the next couple of months. Go again. If someone is celebrating a birthday or Thanksgiving or Christmas, go again. Go again, uh, so they know that okay, you you're very serious because uh, consistent when you're consistent with with uh, visiting them, like oh, this this guy is really has good intention, and uh, so it will be perfect. So it 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 will be perfect. So that's it. Then second day after you've uh, been in this date with the lady, you've been courtship with the lady for a couple for some months, and you then decide to. Uh, propose to the lady please go back go go back to the dad go back to the dad and and talk talk to the the, the father like hey uh mr this uh, i've been dating your daughter for for some time now and i am ready uh to move along with this i want your blessings to propose uh, to the daughter, some some uh, fathers really appreciate it when you come to them uh, and ask for their blessings. Okay, so go to the father. If the father isn't there, then you can go to the mother. But you have to go to the father. Go to the father, and this is when you you make your intentions know to the dad that uh, I want to get married to uh, your daughter. What do I need to know? What do I need to do? So now you're acting for permission to marry the daughter and the things you need to do. And for Nigerian wedding, this is a point where the dad will say, okay, I have given you my my blessings. You can go ahead and propose to my daughter. However, these are certain things uh, you're going to do. Uh, we're going to do the introduction where you come uh, with your family, you come with your dad, you come with your mom, all. If your family are far away, you can come with your friends and you come for the introduction. And during the introduction, we're going to give you the the list. It's called the bride price. The list of everything. Uh, well, well, the list is not the bride price. Sorry, the list is not the bride price. We just give you a list. A list of everything you need to purchase. Yeah, you need to, you need to bring to appease the girls and the elders. Like it's it's a lot, especially when you get married from the eastern part of Nigeria. It's it's a lot. You're gonna get see like. So the sodium, palm oil, the chicken, and so many things in, in, in the list. Uh, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. So, and after this course from the father, the father will tell you, okay, this, this is the tradition. Remember, Nigeria is also broad. We have different uh, customs, different tribes. So depending on the tribe you get married into, the father is going to say, okay, this is what, this is how we do the, the marriages in, in the tribe because you are new, you are foreign to them so they have to let you know the tradition like where I come from in those days uh, the father would tell you okay this is what you need to do this is what you need to do this is what you need to do so the next thing you need to do is to invite either you're coming with your friends or you're coming with your parents for the uh, uh, for the for the I would say introduction yeah for the introduction so it all depends on if your parents are close by or if your parents are far away now, if your parents are far away, don't need to disturb your friends. Just come with your with your friends, and then you go there. You like this is the introduction. You're talking to the father, the parents, and they will ask you why are you guys here, and then son will speak. Yes, we are here uh, because we will seeing your daughter, and then want to get married to your your daughter. But it's, 
really wisely to go with your friends so as they get to know your parents too i want to get married to your daughter i'm like yes my son uh, thank you thank you thank you and then they, they'll give you all the things uh you need to to do that when they present the list to you and tell you okay this is the bride price and this is the list you need to get and then this is the uh, number of days you have to make sure everything is ready now at this point you know that yeah we get married we get married yes 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 then uh <coughs> take note you're going to pay the the bride price on the traditional wedding day yes that is when you bring uh the money the money and all the stuff they ask you uh to bring it on the traditional uh, wedding day so you, you at this point you're you're planning with your wife to be and her family and you guys are planning and seeing how things are going to be done or uh, where things you need to buy and then you fix a date for the traditional marriage yourself and the girl and her family you fix a date for the traditional uh marriage and then when the date is fixed you can invite your friends your colleagues well, this is the traditional marriage just like both a family joining their kids together so it's majorly the families but you can also have your friends uh come over and now you're going to be dressed as someone from the girls uh tribe so if you're marrying an evil person you're gonna dress like an evil person if you marry someone from a do state you're gonna dress like someone from a do state okay so you get dressed you go and now the traditional uh, marriage is done in the girl's house yes and yes it's done in the girl's house so you go to the girl's house with your friends and your family members and this is where you present all the items that they they are uh, asked you from the list you present all the items and present the bride price to the girl's uh, father and after that <coughs> and, and and after that they will tell you some of the traditional rights, some rules and regulations, blah 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 blah. And then they're gonna pray for the both of you. You understand? The girl's father is gonna pray for the man and the woman, and then the guy's father is going to pray for the guy and the woman. And when that is over, when that is over, they're going to join you guys together as man and wife and then you guys are married you go out you dance 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 and then you eat together as one big happy family the family of the guy the family of the girl and the newly wedded couple eat together as one big happy family and after that you guys can go this this is the wedding this is the african wedding you dance 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 eat 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 this is african wedding now it's not the same to the african-american wedding right? because you guys don't have like this tradition some some africans have these traditions but this this is african wedding this is the wedding but the traditional wedding is not legally recognized uh by the nigerian government so you have to go to the courthouse and also get wedded in the courthouse you have to go to the, to the registry and then uh get married there okay that's wedding number two same thing with the night this is what's similar to the uh, wedding the stage where you have to go to the courthouse and apply for a marriage license you necessarily don't have to do the wedding in the courthouse you can either do the wedding in the courthouse or uh meet someone a pastor or an official to officiate the wedding so your courthouse wedding we also do the courthouse wedding. you have to go to the courthouse and then do the wedding now thirdly it's the uh church wedding so this this is borrowed from the the western world so for the christians you go to the church uh to do a wedding and it's similar to the to the church wedding we have in, in the states where there's a pastor he officiates the wedding the the ladies dress in white like wedding dress and then the guy dress in suits and then it's just the same the same uh white we call it the church wedding the white wedding or the church wedding and it's the same thing now in nigeria you're doing three weddings the traditional wedding the courthouse wedding and the church wedding if you're a christian now these weddings can span in, in a week or in a couple of days so most people now because of course they do the traditional wedding on a friday they do the church wedding on a saturday yeah they do the traditional wedding on a friday or church wedding on a saturday and the courthouse wedding can either be the monday of the next week or the thursday 
prior to the week. So you either do the courthouse wedding on Thursday and then do traditional wedding on uh, Friday and church wedding on Saturday. But most people prefer to do the traditional wedding first. So they do the traditional wedding on a Friday, do the church wedding on a Saturday, and then the courthouse wedding can be the next uh, Monday. So these are three weddings to seal the deal. This is how you get married to an African lady. Yes, 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 yes. So if you're out there and you're thinking of getting married to an African lady, get ready. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really amazing. There are lots and lots of dance. Just be, like, be ready to dance because you're going to dance. You are going to dance. So the traditional wedding, you will dance. You, you're going to show us some of your moves. So the church wedding, you're also going to dance. So it's, it's the same thing with African-American wedding. Uh, in some sense, like the church wedding is the same thing. But the, one of the major differences is jumping the broom. Yeah. The wedding attendant, the couple had to jump the broom. It's like well, Asians, uh, African American tradition. In Africa, we don't we don't jump the broom. And uh, I don't think in African American wedding they pay bride price. No, they don't pay bride price. But in Nigeria, we pay bride price. And also in African American wedding, there is no lease. The, the uh, parents of the girl do not give a lease uh, to the guy. But in Nigeria, we do that. We do that. There's a lease. There is a lease. And also, uh, in African American wedding, you don't dress like where the woman is coming from. But in Nigeria, you have to dress from where the woman is coming from. So these are some of the major differences between an African American wedding and an African wedding. Quite similar, right? Yay! Well, thank you. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, thank you so much. I want to really hear from you. How is wedding performed uh, in your in your country or in your state how is if you're from nigeria how is wedding performed in your state if you're from the united states or other uh, countries i want to know how weddings is performed uh, in your state and i'll see how i can compare uh, a wedding in nigeria and the wedding from your country okay thank you so so much and if you know anybody who is planning on getting married to a nigerian girl please share this video with them so they know what is ahead of them thank you so much for stopping by i love you and i'll see you next time. Bye-bye.